Yeah. I read a story, and I don't know if it's true, because sometimes the internet be lying to me, uh-huh. that you just met your dad last year. Yeah, so... All right, so this is an interesting story. So I grew up, my parents were divorced my whole existence. So Philip Baker, we would we would go to Philip's house. I don't call him Philip, but that's his name just for context. So we would go to his house every weekend. You know, he would come pick us up. Me and my brothers would be over there every weekend. And so that was that was my dad, you know. And so when I was in uh I think I was probably in tenth grade. My oldest brother was like, hey, man, you know, uh, you know, we got different dads. And I was like, mm. I was like, what you talking about? I thought he was just playing. He was like, because uh, we were looking at pictures. We were looking at old pictures or whatever. And um, he was just like, yeah, you, you wonder why we, we kind of don't look exactly alike. I was like, I never really thought about it. And so um, he was just like, yeah, your dad used to play uh, in the NFL. And I was just like, what? He's like, yeah. And so I was just like, whatever. And then, so I never brought it up to my mom. I just was like, was he serious? Anyway, so so I didn't have that because I didn't have a void of fatherhood. You know what I'm saying? My dad raised us, so I was good. So when I turned 18, my mom was like, so listen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your dad is, you know, his name is Richard and this, this, that, and the third. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Khalil told me. And she was like, he told you? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I, I just didn't say anything, but, you know, I already knew. And so I could tell that was a load off for her that I took it so well mm. and that I already already kind of knew. And so I was just like, because I, I genuinely wasn't tripping. I was just like, all right. And so, um, so this was when I turned 18. So this was, what was I, 18? 95? So um, years later... When Antoine Fisher came out, y'all remember that movie? Yeah, with Denzel Washington. With the, yeah. When when I saw that movie, and when Derek Luke's character gets introduced to you know his real family, I just cried hard, and th- th- I wasn't crying in movies at this time, and so I was just like, "Damn, where all this emotion come from?" Like a hard cry, like vein out, and I was just like, "I think I do want to meet." My actual father, you know, so I changed, I had to change a heart. And so I went on the quest to look for him. Since he did play in the NFL, he played for the Bears, the, the Eagles, and the Seahawks. I was able to find him because he was uh, coaching for a Canadian football league team at that time. He was on the staff. And so I was able to find him there. I went to their website, went to the faculty or the staff, and then they had the pictures up. Mm. And so I grabbed his picture. I was like, hey, Ma, is this, is this Richard? She's like, yep, that's him. And I was like, ah, okay. So I called up there, got in the contact with him. He was like, oh, I was looking for you. And his voice was softer than I expected. Mm. Like, it was soft. I was like, man. You know, <laughs> like, I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting this. I was like, I must have my grandfather's voice or whatever. So, <laughs> so, so we connected. And then uh, we talked a few times. And then he was he was just horrible at keeping contact, right? You know, and so because I, I figured like if your son finds you, you're gonna be you're gonna be a one on the communication reach out after that. And so I was just like I always felt like I had to do the majority of the the reach out. And so I was just like, man, just send me my sister's information so I can you know meet them and build with them. And so fast forward to like 2011. He passed away. My mom told me he had passed uh, from like a heart attack or something. And so I was like, but I had never gotten a chance to meet him in person, face to face. So I was just like, damn, man. So I cried, even though I never met him personally. I wasn't really in contact anymore. I was like, damn, I had that regret of not meeting him face to face. Because you know, you want to see your father, you want to see if y'all share mannerisms or whatever. Right. And so uh, fast forward to. 2022, I got an Ancestry.com kit for Christmas, I think. So I finally took it. And then, you know, you get all your little results or whatever. You know, you, I'm, I'm 20% German, 27% Nigerian. You're getting all that. I'm just looking at that. Mm-hmm. I'm not even looking at, like, the, the genetic matches of, like, people that I see over here. And so I started looking at that. I'm like, oh, look at all these second and third cousins, man. And so it was this it was this girl on there named Monique. She was kind of high on the on the little list of, of genetic match. 
So I kept noticing, and the and the information. If you never done ancestry, the information always changes as they get more. Mm-hmm. So like your your uh, your ethnic uh, percentage always changes. Like my German kept going up. My German is like twenty five now, and so which I expected because my grandmother's white. So, um, but I noticed this girl keep moving up, mm. and then as my brothers took their ancestry. So now my son took it. So now when I look at the genetic matches, my son is first. And then I noticed that Monique is ahead of my brothers. So it's like my son and Monique. And I'm just like, wait a minute. How is she matching up this close? More than my brothers? So that's when I was like, let me reach out. So I, I sent her a message. And I was like, hey, where are you from? Like, you know, where would you grow up or whatever? And then she didn't respond and so months went by, and then I just happened to be talking about it, and I rechecked, and she had reached out. She was just like, oh, my God, you know, I'm so, I hope you don't mind. I Googled you, and this, this, that, and the third. I think your mom and my dad used to date back in the day. And once she said that, and I was just like, oh, well, this is my sister I'm talking to, basically. Just, mm-hmm. just from that, I was just like, it has to be. And so we started talking more and more, and then I was like, send me pictures of your dad. And she sent me, like, current pictures. He's still alive. He was, like, 85 and I was just like, send me something from back in the day because I can't see the resemblance of somebody, you know, that senior. Yeah, right. And so I, let me see the young joints. So I was just trying to see, because I look just like my mom. I, look okay. I stole her face. And so, so I'm still trying to find, you know, similarities. I'm like, oh, kind of, he got a dimple, you know what I'm saying? His nose. I was just looking the cheekbones. And so I hit my mom up uh, the next morning. And I'm just like, hey, did you know a guy named Thomas uh, Letcher? And she's like, yeah, we used to date. And I was just like, all right, well, uh, you know what I'm saying? So I told her about the ancestry results. And she, I was just like, you know, mm-hmm. She was like, you trying to call your mama a hoe? I'm like, no, no. No, I ain't saying nothing. I'm just coming in with the genetic material. I'm just coming in with science first. And so uh, so that's how I found, you know, my father. And then I met him um, December 2023, this past December. So it wasn't Richard. So it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't Richard. Richard. It was never Richard. It was Thomas. So your mom, how did she make that? Did you ever ask her? How t- because, because at the time... She when <laughs> when it's a I nice asked, way to say that because because here's what happened so you know it was like some dating overlap right and so uh, what had happened was she was dating Thomas and then she found out that he was getting married oh and so she was just like you know heartbroken on that and so you know she was kind of in in the in the meantime somewhere in there she was talking to Richard also right and so um but when when my mom told me to call my godmother her best friend call Jerry and see what she say and as soon as I called my godmother the first thing she said on the phone that is your daddy that is your daddy Thomas is your daddy we knew it then <laughs> we knew it then mm. you know what I'm saying so she she gave me the right the real account right so um she just thought Richard would have been the safer choice until she found out he was also already married. Ooh. Because she took me out there to Seattle because he was with the Seah- Seahawks at that time. And that's when she found out he he was really married. So it was just like. Now, from that story, yeah. I believe he died no, thinking that you were his son. Yes. Because he said he was looking for you, too. He was looking for me. And then y'all me. talked. And then mm-hmm. he died yeah. now thinking that you were his son. Yeah. So he, he went to the grave with that, yeah. thinking, yeah. Damn. So, mm-hmm. But it wasn't like he, he wasn't like no, yeah. talking to me. Like yeah, he, yeah. Wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't A1 on the communication. So it was just like. Maybe he had yeah. a feeling. Yeah. So he, he went to the grave <laughs> with that. And so, uh, so yeah. That's so Richard wasn't story. the one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you ever just say, okay, I want to make sure and do a test with your real dad? Or no, you just I took it aside. I think ancestry is enough. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sim- in- simply because the 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 match accuracy was just that's the only way. Yeah, to I never it. did. Like, how would ancestry know right that Monique would, would would just pop up, and why why would we even be connected? And then to talk to her and be like, "Yo, 
uh, you know, right. your, your mom used to date my dad. That The proof was in the pudding right. at that point. And she's right under my son in terms of genetic matching. Mm-hmm. Does that like a, mean Monique also took an ancestry test and she's in the system? Yes. Mm-hmm. So she, 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 if she didn't do ancestry, I probably would have never discovered this. That's why I don't do shout it. Out to, <laughs> shout out to, shout out to ancestry, ancestry, bringing families together. Right. So it was like a thirty-year journey for you to basically yeah. find. And so I met him face to face at the. I was at the Improv in Orlando, and they live out in Florida, so they came to the show. So I met him face to face there. Yeah, still in contact. Yeah, in con- like I, I talk to his wife more than him because you know he's old school. So yeah. and I'm a texter. So yeah. but I, I plan to go out there and you know uh, spend some time uh, this year. But y'all are just dropping <laughs> everything. <laughs> like yeah. So because I, I I don't want to mess this opportunity up and be having regret. I didn't spend time. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. That's cool. Where yeah. That's real cool. You said cool. they live in Florida? They live in Florida, yeah. Damn. So, uh-huh. you're going to go down there? Yeah. To, um, I'm go down there. Because they said, she said they're willing to travel, but I'm like, you know what I'm saying? They up there in age. I would rather, 